Well, my name's Ben, I'm lead educator at LumenSwap, I'm the founder of Boring Crypto, and I'm also an extremely handsome guy, as you can see. Um, no, I'm not, I'm just joking. Um, in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can bridge assets from Polygon Network across to Stellar and from Stellar back. The reason we might use this is if we're experiencing some glitches and some delays on the centralized exchanges when we're trying to withdraw XLM into our native Stellar wallets, we might have to go around the houses to get that done. One of the bridges that is available to us is this bridge.newscrypto.io, a relatively new bridge that's been um, provided by a combination of News Crypto, um, the Polygon team, and also Chainlink, uh, enabling the movement of assets from one network to the other makes it extremely useful. If Stellar peeps are looking to go across and use some of the DeFi protocols on uh, the Polygon network, or whether the Polygon peeps are looking to come across and use some of Stellar um, rapidly growing ecosystem of NFT marketplaces, swaps, DeFi protocols, etc., or clients, etc., etc. Right. So that's kind of the um, the high level um, overview of what we're going to be talking about in this video. Please understand that you should never listen to me for financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm a passionate crypto student. I've been in the space for about four and a half years. I've had some monumental wins. I've had some monumental losses. Some experiences in between those experiences have led on to some, me getting some wisdom. And with that wisdom, I hope to pass some of it on to you so you can navigate the crypto space in the least amount of friction as possible. With that being said, let's get cracking. I hope to do this if technology allows as quickly as we possibly can because I appreciate your time. The first thing we're going to need to have is a native Stellar wallet. The wallet that I'm going to use in this uh, video is a freighter wallet. A freighter wallet is a very secure wallet. It's a, it's a very good wallet for NFTs on Stellar, so I highly recommend it. It's closely linked with Stellar Term. Stellar Term is a client very much like LumenSwap, where you can claim your balances, where you can send your assets, where you can set up trust lines, and you can do all of the different pieces of the Stellar uh, ledger jigsaw, right? So you can do them there. I am all encompassing. I absolutely love loads of different tools that we've got on Stellar, whether it's Nice Trade, whether it's Lumen Swap, whether it's Stellar Term, all of these different tools, and of course, Light Mint for the NFT stuff. Um, I use um, and you know I actively promote, even though I do uh, work as part of the team at Lumen Swap. I'm you know happy to try and build out the Stellar family and promote the tools that uh, can be very very useful. So in this one, we're going to be using Freighter Wallet with Stellar Term. This news crypto bridge. Uh, it's pretty easy to use as well as far as bridges go and it's very very cheap so we're going to need the stellar stuff and many of you guys knowing me are going to know all of the stellar stuff already we're also going to have to have a metamask wallet metamask wallet allows us to interact with evm chains so scaling solutions to ethereum different chains such as avalanche c chain uh, polygon uh, x die binance smart chain and there's probably more well there's more than a hundred different evm linked chains now everything's becoming in or operable isn't it uh, so it'll enable you to interact with these of course when the traffic becomes congested on these networks then you get glitches and then you can have to put gas up and you can have delays and lags so it's not perfect but it gives us options right without further ado if we are pulling uh, or we're experiencing some of these delays that centralized exchanges often do to us right when we're trying to withdraw assets they can be really glitchy, they can be really slow, they can be problematic. And when we're trying to withdraw maybe XLM out into our native Stellar wallet, we can't do that. We're going to have to find a different way. One of those ways is we can swap our XLM into a stable coin, our stable coin into the Matic, to uh, ne uh, sorry, the Matic uh, or Polygon Network coin which is called matic still which is a little bit confusing so it used to be called matic and then they switched to polygon so it's a little bit confusing but um, polygon is the network matic is their native coin we can swap into that of course you could swap from uh, xlm into bitcoin if you wanted to and then bitcoin you know back out well you can use an any kind of trading pair that you want but the process is the same going from xlm if you're struggling on centralized exchange into matic next thing you must be aware of is you must be aware that you are on the Matic native network, not on Ethereum, not coming out as a, a Matic uh, coin, as an ERC20 token. You want to be coming out on the native Matic 
network. Be careful when you're selecting, say, from Binance, you'll see, you know, withdraw, uh, and then it will say select network, Binance Smart Chain, Ethereum, Matic. You want to make sure you've got that Matic, otherwise you're going to be paying a heck of a lot in gas. And if you're anything like me, one of the reasons that you're using Stellar on a day-to-day -day basis is because it's so fast and it is so cheap. We don't want to be weighed down with those F gas fees. Let's have a look how quickly we can pull this off. So what I've got here is I've got the bridge open but without it being logged in. So I'm going to click onto the MetaMask and all I'm doing is I'm just signing to agree to approve that this um, decentralized application can connect with my Web3 wallet. Web3 wallet being a browser extension wallet, yeah, which is my MetaMask. And so now the two are connected, we can see up here that my address has now appeared at the top, meaning that this is now connected to the network. So I am often running with being on Polygon. What I want to do first of all is I just want to um, move some assets from Polygon over to Stellar. So you can see here it's from and then to. I want to go the opposite way and we just click this button in the middle. We click that and then it goes from Polygon. Look, it switches. You see how that moves? Yeah, so it switches now and we're going from Polygon to Stellar. I want to put in there, if I just have a look in my wallet and have a look at how many um, wrapped XLM I have in my assets. It's only a tutorial wallet, but we'll look down here and see. We've got 180 wrapped XLM. So I'm going to put in just 50 uh, of these. This does charge one XLM for the transaction, yeah, for the bridge uh, the bridging cost, which is absolutely fine by me. I haven't got a problem with paying. What is it tonight? Round about 30, just over 30 cents um, for bridging from one network to another is absolutely fine. You know, you if you look at Ethereum bridges, you're going to be paying multiples of dozens of dollars to be doing this kind of process. Okay, so we've got that happy. We've got the destination address here. So what I need to paste in there is my native Stellar wallet. If I come here and we make a recollect or we make a mental note of how many XLM are in here, we've got 321. I'm just going to copy this address. And once again, it's just a demonstration, a tutorial address that I'm um, using for this video. So I'm going to paste that into there. I don't need to use a memo because a memo is only used really for centralized exchange transfers. So I don't need to use that. What I need to do now is I just need to hit transfer. You can see here I'm transferring 50 um, wrapped XLM from Polygon over to Stellar. And this is the destination address, which is my native Stellar wallet. Remember, in my native Stellar wallet, there was 321. Let's see how fast this is. We're now at eight minutes into the video. We are going to confirm and we're going to wait to see how long this takes to flip to be initiated and when it's initiated how long that will actually take then to populate into our native Stellar wallet. I hope that it's not long, we shall see. So we successfully initiated the swap. We can view it on the Explorer and the swap will be complete within a couple of minutes depending on congestion. Um, check the des uh, destination wallet to see when the tokens have arrived. So that's 35 seconds up to now. Let's just check, see if we've got anything. Uh, and there we go. So they're already in 30, 40 seconds. Inside 40 seconds, we're done. That's how fast it is to move those tokens across from Polygon into the Stellar Network. Now we're gonna do it the opposite way as well. So I'm just gonna flip round and we're gonna see how quickly we can get it done the opposite side. So we're gonna click done there. Now I'm going to go from Stellar and I'm going to send 50 um, of my um, XLM, yeah, native coin to the Stellar network, XLM. I'm going to send 50 to Polygon. And the destination wallet address, we have to change this one out now. And we have to put in our Polygon one, right? Because that's where we're heading to. So the destination address is the tutorial wallet that we used earlier. We're going to paste it right into there, double checking it's the right one. And then we're going to hit transfer. You can see what it's doing now is it's giving us another address to send to and a memo. And this is going to be the third party that we're going to send to the bridge between the two networks. So one network is coming straight across and is able to do it in the opposite way we're sending into what on other networks is a smart contract, which 
reads the fact that we've sent the tokens to it, and then it sends the tokens on as a second transaction. Okay, so up we come. Uh, start over so we're going to send another transaction now and you can see here on our bridge we've got the address and we're going to make sure that we're going to copy that incorrectly and then we're going to move to our stellar term and we're going to put that in we're also going to go and grab that it's really important that you put the memo in here yeah making sure you've got it correctly so we're going to also copy that and we're going to go back into our stellar term we're putting the memo in we're sending a 50 so we've got 50 in there, XLM, uh, memo type is text, so memo type text. I'm just going to double check, I always like to make sure we're double checking everything. Yeah, we've got that, we've got that, we know that it was 50 that we're sending back again. And we're going to come across here and we're just going to hit next and then we're going to confirm and submit that transaction. That's then going to take a little minute or two, we're going to have to re-enter our password in our freighter wallet. Nice and swiftly, nice and easy, down. Confirm, that's going to engage. Should be very, very quick being on Stellar. Three to five seconds maximum, and it's only going to cost us about 100 stroops uh, in a transaction fee to send that. You can see here, we've now done that. So I can pop across, and I can have a look here, and we're going to wait. And while we're waiting, we're now at 11.22 on the video time. We're going to see how quickly this initiates going back the opposite way. And then we're going to talk about ways that we can actually check to see whether that transaction has come in. If we go to our wallet and we come down, so we've initiated the swap already. So that was 20 seconds. We can have a look at our assets and come down. And once again, we are back at, well, one uh, XLM less than what we had uh, before we sent the 50 across, which was 180. You can see that it's taken one proper XLM off me and one wrapped XLM, you know, that was 180. And on the other side, it's taken one off me each time that we're using this bridge perfectly fine for me and then what I can do is I can come across to the place where the liquidity is the liquidity is on sushi swap making sure that we are on the polygon network of sushi swap and you can see here the wrapped XLM is there now if I was just to kind of refresh this and hopefully uh, yeah, so it hasn't got the token in at the moment. If we wanted to find where the, um, the the liquidity is, it's pretty easy to do. We can come across onto the bridge and we can come to our user guide. At the user guide at the bottom here, it's asking us or saying paste the following contract address. When you're using EVM chains, you need to use the token contract addresses. So what we would do is we would lift that, okay, and then we would copy that through. One thing we can do here is we can search that contract address on a polygon scan network if we're worried about where the liquidity is we don't quite know it might be quick swap you know it might be sushi swap it might be one of these other um, uh, automated um, uh, market makers right with the you know these uh, liquidity uh, platforms so we think okay we don't know we can see here that we want to click onto the actual token itself which is the wrapped XLM token and then have a look where tokens have been swapped if we have a look at this transaction It's going to tell us look right here sushi swap. Yeah v2 router 2 So I know now that this has been swapped on a sushi swap smart contract So if I go across onto sushi swap and I take that when we say select a token if I take that token contract address and put it in then search it we've got the wrapped XLM I'm clicking onto the wrapped XLM and we can see that the 50 that I've just sent if we swap that over I can put the 50 in here there's the 179 balance there's the 50 and then that is going to enable me to get six matic on my side right so six matic tokens on my side for the 50 uh, wrapped uh, XLM tokens and I'll say that that is worth um, 15 dollars $15. 22 so if you're trying to check right whether this is right and you think to yourself well this doesn't actually seem quite right you can refresh it you can see right how much one of those if we put that in right we can see how much 
put that in one second if we put this around you can go and then you can compare this against like a USDC and then put one in you can see it's 30 cents right so then 10 would be three dollars a hundred is thirty dollars and then we were just doing 50 is fifteen dollars so you can see whether that equates to your prices or not on the other side so you've got to have that price in mind you've got to know the price of what you're swapping but generally speaking these bigger um, AMMs and liquidity platforms they will be there or thereabouts in terms of the actual price so we're going to swap our 50 um, wrapped XLMs for $15 or in fact I'm going to actually just put them back into Matic so I, I'll choose Matic and we've got 50 for 6 approve and then I'll just approve it with my um, MetaMask wallet and that will approve and then we'll wait again and then it will say swap so that's approved and now we've got the swap button and we confirm the swap and once again over in the top right hand corner we will hit the confirm and then you will see that that has now it will say the top one pending transaction in a couple of seconds that will confirm and then we've now swapped back so what I've done is I've gone from one side we've taken our wrapped XLM from um, from my wallet in uh, polygon we've gone and swapped it across to the Stellar network we've seen it appear in our uh, Stellar, uh, Stellar native wallet as a native coin which is XLM and then we took that 50 and we sent it back the opposite way and then we've swapped the wrapped version of XLM back into Matic so if you've got problems on centralized exchanges if you've got problems navigating at getting XLM out you've now got another option with using Matic and getting your XLM converted into Matic very very cheap to send you know it's almost probably the same price as it is to send native Stellar coin which is XLM it's almost probably the same price you're looking at fractions of a cent to make these different swaps approvals transactions etc so you can now navigate the whole crypto space using either one of those assets that you can flick in and flick out of depending whether you're coming into the stellar network or you're coming out of the stellar network i hope that's been useful to you as always it's really useful to me for you to comment underneath for you to give me a like a subscribe maybe and if you find it particularly interesting hit that bell notification and what I will do is I will provide you know a every time there is a video then it will be provided into your inbox that's what I'm trying to get at okay guys as always it's been a pleasure giving you this video and I look forward to joining you in the next one take care have a good day